YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to make a human heart using Cinema 4D. First, we shall insert a platonic. We shall change the segments to 4. Then we shall go to MoGraph, add a formula effector. Then we shall go to Objects, Null Object. Insert formula effector and platonic, drop it into a null object. Then we shall go to formula effector, go to deformer, we shall switch that to polygon. This will distort it, but don't worry, we shall sort it out later, as you can see there. Take that back to 1 or 0. We shall now increase the frames to 240 frames. It gives us more time to work with. Then we will go to Formula Effector again. Go to Parameter. Unclick Position and Scale. And then go to Rotation. Change Rotation to 10 degrees. 10 degrees, 10 degrees. As you can see, the polygon, not polygon, platonic has um, sorted itself out now. Now we shall go to. We've done all the rotation, we shall go to position. We shall change this one to 10 10 and 10 I think I've done a mistake on that one put that one to 20 now that is done we as you can see when you put into render preview take it to there as you can see in render preview it's quite sharp around the edges we can easily sort that out by clicking on hypernerbs that is located there highlight null object formula effector and platonic and drop it into hypernerbs as you can see all the edges are now rounded off which will be very more realistic in the heart. Now we need to add the arteries, which will go out like so. We need to. Oh, yeah, one thing before we do that, we need to go to hypernerbs, go to subdivision editor, and change it to free, like so. Now that is done. We need to click off hyper nerves and then click onto this one here. Why aren't you working? Oh, that's why. Um, platonic hit C. Now that is done, you'll be able to extrude off these small triangles. Okay, now I need to go hit V on your keyboard. It'll come up with this structure tools, objects, section, window, plugins, etc. Go to structure, then go to extrude. Hold shift to select four points where you'd like your arteries to go. I'm having my four there. Now go to the right of your platonic. Push out on your mouse. And press delete to make the holes for the top. Basically from that point your heart structure is done but now we need to make the nice heart fleshy like colours 
basically I won't be making them but the um, keyboard will or Cinema 4D will first you will go to this button here as you can see I've been looking at I'm trying to show you how to get to that okay first you'll go to presets then it'll, you'll go down to cinema 4d this one here sorry about this cinema 4d actually yeah cinema 4d materials then go down to body shader click on Carlos Angel AJL then it will come up with all of these select heart double click heart then go to this one here drag it onto the platonic as you can see now it will take a while to render so the simplest thing I would do is click up to hyper nerves take that off now you'd think I'm mad for taking it off but to be honest this is what you need to do to make it render quicker but soon as you um, put it into render it basically puts hyper nerves back on and then it make this realistic like shape and that's what it'll look like now um, that's done we need to render it go to render settings this is where I need to say go to the dot 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 line where you're gonna save it I will save it as part two save then I need to go to output change your width to 1080 and your height to 720 then you'll see frame range go to it was on current frame change it to all frames then that will automatically come up with the amount of frames you've got where are located down there now that is done it will automatically automatic, automatically being saved then you render it actually before rendering it I'll just cancel this I need to move it like that so you can see the full heart overwrite it now I'm just going to pause this while it renders. Click up here, pause it. Hi guys, I've just come back from... Obviously I've just been on Facebook and stuff because I had to render the video and it was taking quite a long time. It took 15 minutes I think to render. And that was only 240 frames, basically 8 seconds. Now I'll show you what the video looks like. Shoot it's hot. Two. That's an image. Have you seen it there? Where is it? What have you got, you little bugger? bug has gone somewhere don't know why it's made that many copies as it is I 
Hmm. Let's see here. That's one of them anyway. I'll just show you that one for now. Sorry about that guys, um if I just quickly put it on like that. I can show you in here. Actually yeah, that's a good idea. Alright, this is what it looks like guys. After you've done everything and this is basically it really. Thanks for watching guys. Um Please subscribe for some more quite cool and fascinating videos for Cinema 4D. Thanks a lot.